Hey guys, so today I thought I would show you my saddle pad collection. I have a true addiction to buying saddle pads every time I go shopping at a tax store. I always find myself coming home with one. I believe I have 18 to 20 different saddle pads ranging from all different colors. So I brought all my saddle pads home to clean them. So I will be showing you dirty saddle pads. I'm very sorry about that, but I do know that it's gonna take me a number of days to get these all cleaned the way I like to. And I'm only gonna be showing you my English saddle pads today. I haven't included any of my Western saddle pads and all of my half pads are at the barn. So I'm gonna start off with all my green schooling pads. So we have this saddle pad to start off with. It is just a hunter green pad with maroon and gold piping around it. Miller Roma pad. This one has a few holes underneath it. I bought it from a used tack store for about $5. And it does have a few stains near the saddle area from me riding in it yesterday. But other than that, I really love this pad. It's nice and thin. And I think that it looks very smart on Nalina. So this next green saddle pad I also bought from the same used tack store for about the same price. And this is a Can Pro Equestrian saddle pad. And it just has little wave patterns. And as you can tell, it's been sun bleached a little bit. And it just has yellow and hunter green woven piping around it. And this one I've only ridden in once. It is a little dirty. My horse does like to roll, so my saddle pads get dirty pretty quickly. And the shape of this saddle pad I find a little weird just because it's curved at the front. I think this is more meant for all-purpose saddles, but I still like it for my own. This next saddle pad I like to school in is a PRI pad, a Pacific Rim International saddle pad. Lime green with black piping around it, and underneath of these pads is baby blue. Now, mine is a grayish brown color, but most of them come baby blue underneath. This next pad I will be selling, I do believe, because it's too small for my saddle. It is just another hunter green. You'd think this is my favorite color, it's not. It's another hunter green, all-purpose shaped saddle pad with white piping. This one is very thick, and it actually looks really clean on camera, but it does have a lot of hair on it. This one is really, really thick, and it has uh, wither relief stuff on the inside which I definitely don't need for Nalina considering she has like no withers but this pad just is too small for my saddle even though it's horse size and I never really get around to riding it just because it is so thick and in the winter time I do have Nalina shaved and everything but when I don't I would never be able to ride in that saddle pad this next saddle pad I will also be selling just because it is a square baby pad but except this part is too short for my saddle flaps and this part is too long. So it just looks very disproportionate. Um, it is very dirty underneath. These are really easy to clean, but I just don't really love the color of this saddle pad and I think it's just pretty basic and it doesn't fit my saddle, so. My last green schooling pad I actually have been showing in this summer it is a Dover saddle repad, and it is just white with lime green piping, and I think it is an adorable saddle pad. This is a steal because I live in Canada, so I bought this off of someone on Facebook, along with some other pads. Uh, it's pretty dirty underneath, not too bad though, but I have been showing in this pad with some green boots and a green belt that I like to wear just to flash a little bit of my favorite color. So next I will just be showing you my baby pads. I have this failed attempt at a tie-dye baby pad. <laughs> I think it still looks pretty cute. Now this part I usually leave at the back and then this part is just open. But it's just a splash of color on either side. I still think it's cute. It just... I didn't do it the right way, but I did used to show in this with a tie-dyed polo. This next one I also bought off a girl on Facebook, and it is just a Latia saddle pad, and it is 
baby blue with pink piping and it has a little crown in the corner which I think is absolutely adorable and I love to ride in this saddle pad in the summertime because it's nice and thin but this one fits my saddles unlike this one because this one's shorter but I love this pad this next pad I also bought off Facebook and it is also a Latia pad and it is just black with a smiley face in the corner which I think is also very cute I think it spices up the pad a little bit so this next pad is quite colorful it is an all-purpose pad so it's a little long on my close contact saddle but it is yellow and it is very thick oh it's very dirty yeah it's very thick but I've always wanted a yellow saddle pad it's shaped a little bit funny it's a little longer in the front than in the back but I still think it is a very adorable addition to my saddle pad collection. I think I only paid about $20 for it at a tax store, so I think it was a steal, in my opinion. This next saddle pad I have for you is a Escadron saddle pad, just a cream color, and yet again, it has the weird front flap. This one is more flattering to my saddle for some reason. I think it's because it's a little bit bent from wear and tear. I also bought this at a used tax store just because I can justify paying $5 for a saddle pad that I'm going to school in rather than paying money for a brand new pad. And this is actually squared off at the ends which I think looks really cute and I think it's really flattering on Nalina's body. Now cream and yellow colors are very flattering on Nalina because she is white and she is almost 99% of the time not bathed. So I only bathe her for shows. So these are very flattering on her in lessons and stuff like that. Just makes her look more white. And this one just has some gold piping. And this one's pretty thick. Uh, it's very, 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 very dirty. So I'm not going to show you the underside really, but it's just white on the outside. So I actually forgot about one of my green schooling pads. This one is a Shedro quilted pad and it is just a green color with pink piping. This is a pretty old saddle pad. I've had this for a while. Uh, it's pretty clean underneath. I usually only ride in it in the winter time just because Shedro pads are a little thicker than stuff I like to ride in in the summertime, but they hold up really nicely. They're not flimsy really, so this is a nice pad. These two next Shedro pads are from the same collection and they're just in different colors. This one is just a blue-gray color. Now it's stained from my saddle because it rained at the show that I wore this at. But it is just a nice gray-blue kind of color with white, navy, and baby blue twisted piping on it. And it's very dirty underneath, but it's the same color underneath. And these pads I actually love because they have plastic on the underneath right here so that your girth doesn't break the piping or rip anything, which is nice. And then I just have the same pad in maroon. Which I love and think looks very smart on Alina. And it just has gold and navy piping. Then I have this gorgeous Shedro pad. This is my favorite pad so far. It is just a baby pink color with hot pink and white piping. I've only ridden this saddle pad a few times, but it holds up very nice. Uh, it's pretty dirty underneath, but I think all the accents on this saddle pad are super cute. So the last schooling pad I have, I also think I will be selling just because the pattern is a little crazy for me. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet, but I can only ever ride in this saddle pad in the winter time just because of how thick it is. And it's also waterproof. But it just has a whole bunch of different colored peace signs all over it. And it's black. And it is a Canadian horsewear 
saddle pad. I got this at the Royal Winter Fair, a friend picked it up for me. So now I'm going to show you my last three pads, which are schooling pads. So this is a Shedro pad. This is an all-purpose saddle pad, I believe. I used to ride knowing an all-purpose saddle before I purchased her from my coach. So this used to be my showing pad. I used to wear white, which was not flattering on Nalina, but it just has this gorgeous silver silk piping, and it just has a waffle quilt underneath. This pad I hope to wear someday. I've never used this pad before. It is completely clean and white underneath. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. There is no brand on it, but it is just a lime baby green color and it just has some more lime green silk piping around it and some small quilts. And this last saddle pad is a century saddle pad and it is vibrant lime green. Now this has been stained by my boots so I'm going to try to get that out when I wash them today. But it is just white underneath. It is very dirty. I rode in it in our Christmas party. That was the only time I've ever ridden in it before. But hopefully this becomes the saddle pad that I wear when I do cross country schooling because I think it would just look really cute with a matching long sleeve lime green shirt with my vest over top. So that was my saddle pad collection. I hope you guys liked it. I will be coming out with another video showing you how I like to wash my saddle pads. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see anything else from me on my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.